ago, I painted on trucker hats for fun. I customized these hats for friends and I was having fun doing it. Nothing serious. I was mostly using Sharpies and paint pens. My friend in LA sent me a message saying Tom Shoes was looking for an artist and I should send them my hat portfolio. So I did and they hired me part time, mostly on weekends. I traveled around painting shoes live for customers at what they called their Style Your Soul events. It was cool because I got to surround myself with other artists and pick up on shoe painting techniques. But the best part was giving the customers their newly painted shoes and seeing their first hand reaction. Over the course of two years, I took pictures of the Toms I painted, built out my own website and put those designs up for sale. People started to hit me up for other styles of shoes like Jordans and eventually Yeezys. I was finding myself consistently busy painting shoes enough that I started thinking about quitting my corporate finance job. I was nervous though because it was a good paying salary job with benefits. After sitting in a cubicle for four years, I walked into my boss's office and quit. Now without any job, it was time to grind. I painted sneaker orders and if I had no orders to paint, I was designing new shoes and putting those up online for people to see. One day a New York based finance company reached out and asked if I could make some custom Nikes for their employees. They had three dozen employees and had a budget of $20,000. Even though I acted like I do this all the time, it was my biggest order. I knew it was my chance. It was a turning point for me. I went all in. I hired an artist to help me. I got a studio warehouse space. Fast forward a few years, my team is seven amazing humans plus me. We have painted shoes for athletes and celebrities like Bruno Mars, LL Cool J, Taylor Swift, Chris Rock, J-Lo, Snoop Dogg, and even President Biden. We have worked with brands like Red Bull, Netflix, Mountain Dew, AT&T, Amazon, Salesforce, and many others. The thing that keeps me motivated is knowing that every time we ship a pair of customized sneakers, there is a sneakerhead recipient that is enjoying the unboxing at the other end. And that feeling I get all circles back to when I first started painting shoes live for people at events. So if you pick up one thing from this video, it's don't get discouraged by the little things. Know that there are people out there that love what you are doing and keep doing what you're doing for them.